In today's video, we'll be comparing what the RX 9060 XT 16GB can do against the RTX 3050 6GB. Now, of course, before we start the video, we know which one's going to win. I mean, that's, ob that's obvious. It's obviously the AMD card because it's so much more powerful. But really, what the point of this video is, is basically to compare if you should actually upgrade and how much performance you'll get if you do potentially upgrade. So basically, if you've got a older graphics card, say like the GTX 1070, the GTX 1660, 1660 Super, 1660 Ti, uh, maybe even like a 1080, uh, 1080 Ti, even the RTX 2060. If you've got one of those more older graphics cards, which is kind of in the range of what a 30, 50, 6 gigabyte is, or not too far off anyway, is it going to be worth your money to actually spend and actually upgrade to the RX 9060 XT 16, 16 gigabyte version? So that's basically what today's video is all about. Now, of course, like I say, the 960 XT is obviously going to win, so <laughs> we, we know that, but um, it's basically just to compare apples to apples, or oranges to oranges, if you will, whatever, whatever. it's always a weird phrase, that one, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, but anyway, yeah, let's actually look at the uh, results, and uh, the test results that I did for these, basically these free games have like an inbuilt, in, an inbuilt uh, test bench, or like a, or like a test run, uh, which basically um, it's Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Black Myth Wukong, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Those three have like a can benchmark which runs exactly the same. And I've run it um, basically, I've, the system I was using was a Ryzen 5 5600 with the 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory clocked at uh, 3600 mega transfers. So basically, the PC which we had last week when we tested the 960 XT. Uh, so it's exactly the same, but I have tested it. I did test it before with the uh, 3056 gigabytes in that same PC, and then obviously we're taking the results from the 9060 XT that we did last week. So basically, let's just uh, have a look at those uh, benchmarks. So all our results are at 1080p high settings, and I've used the same settings for both cards. Now, there might have been DLSS actually running on the RTX 3050, and there might have been a bit of FSR running on the um, 9060 XT for Cyberpunk, if I remember, Cyberpunk 2077, but the other two are native as well. But again, there's not, it's not really going to make too much difference on the results. But anyway, so yeah, the um, RTX 3050, 6, 6 gigabyte, and uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was an average of 75, a minimum of 61, and a maximum of 116. But on the RX uh, 9060 XT 16 gigabyte, we got an average of 202, a minimum of 167, and a maximum of 300, <laughs> 324. So yeah, as you can see, um, well, yeah, I mean, this this car's basically destroyed the 3050 there. So over over 100 FPS more on the averages roundabouts uh, uh, from this card to that card so yeah now cyberpunk 2077 uh the 350 6 gig uh was an average of uh 60 a minimum of 50 and a maximum of 73 our 9060 xt 16 gigabyte was an average of 139 a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 169 so again pretty much i would say that was over double in terms of the averages there from going from an average of 60 on the 30 50 6 gig um, up to about 140 there on the 90 60 xt 16 gig so you know massive massive improvement there so really great to see so far i mean the, the, you know like i say this is really more of a 1440p card anyway so you know you are going to get so much more more performance um, over an older card. And our final game is Black Myth Wukong. Um, uh, the 3050 6 gig was an average of 
36, a minimum of 30, and a maximum of 41. And the uh, 9060 XT 16 gigabyte was an average of 90, a minimum of 58, and a maximum of 103. So again, I mean, getting almost a three times the average there. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, again, it, it, it's just um, so much more performance that you're getting here. So going from um, 36 FPS average right up to 90 fps so really really uh big differences there as you can see guys um yeah so basically to summarize the video if you have got a older card like the 3050 the uh 2060 uh 10 1080 now you will get probably a little bit more performance than the 3050 6 gig if you've got maybe more of the um, top top cards of those ones, um, certainly if you're looking at something like a GTX 1070, maybe even a 1060 6 gig, you are going to get so much more more performance going up to the RX 9060 XT. Now, personally, I would really encourage everyone to opt for the 16 gigabyte version of this card. Um, I really don't think the eight gig the eight gigabyte is actually worth it. I know it's only about I think, it was, I think I saw it on Amazon for 240, the 8 gig version of the 960 XT, which for a lot of people, that's going to be really, really appealing. Um, I mean, that price point is actually really, really good, to be fair, but it isn't really worth it because the 8 gigabyte is really, really going to restrict you in uh, 2025 and moving forward now. I mean, uh, certainly if you want to do 1440p, that's out of the window with the 8 gigabyte uh, card, really. I mean, there's even games now that are going over the 8 gig eight gigabyte of vram uh video memory um on the card so you know at 1440p so uh, it's it's the the eight gigabyte version isn't worth it really i mean it, it is cheap and certainly i mean it it depends if you're absolutely gonna stay on stay at 1080p uh gaming then maybe you can just about get away with the eight eight gigabyte version of the uh 9060 xt but in honesty, I would just go for the 16 gigabyte and yeah, it's going to cost you about another hundred pounds or so or maybe a little bit less or whatever. I mean, I brought mine for 320, but, um, you know, prices are kind of changing and what have you all the time. So maybe by the time you you actually come to this video, it might be even under under 300 pounds for this card. But um, I think it's going to stay fairly consistent for a certainly a good few months. But uh, right, right now, I still think even at 320 pounds, you are getting such an amazing graphics card here with the uh, 9060 XT uh, 16 gigabyte version as you can see it's kind of destroyed an older card here um, now obviously on the ray tracing side this card's still going to be better um, but some of the uh, more modern RTX cards maybe like the 3060 can actually kind of hold their own a little bit more in the, in the ray tracing side but really with the 9060 XT you are looking at FSR and um, really you're probably not going to do too much ray tracing so I, I probably would keep the ray tracing off i'm being honest but anyway you are uh, just for native performance you are going to get so much more than the, these older cards so i would say if you're on the fence right now and you're um and ah in of should i upgrade or not i would actually just go out and purchase it personally and upgrade because i think this is a really great card and um i mean the one i've got here is the sapphire pulse version but um there are some other versions as well. Maybe you might want to go with the free fan version. So uh, rather than the two fans that, that I've got here, which is the two fan version, you might want to go for those more premium cards. Obviously, you've got to pay a little bit more if you want those. But I do think the 960 XT, especially with FSR 4 support and the future proofing of 16 gigabytes of VRAM video memory, I think, I think you've got a great card here overall. And like I say, in last week's video, I think the benchmarks really prove that. So, yeah, I hope you really like this uh, little video here. Probably probably not a very long one here, but just to kind of summarize, if you've got an older card, then I would certainly consider it. And please like the video if you like the video. Uh, please dislike if you, for some reason, disliked it. Um, please comment on what you think. Um, do you think the 960 uh, XT 16 gigabyte? is worth it i mean I, I certainly think it's the graphics card to get right now personally i mean you could go right up to the 9070 if you really want that horsepower but i think for 99 percent of people the 960 xt 
16 gigabyte is going to be more than enough, certainly for 1440p gaming. Probably within the next two to three years, I think you've got pretty much covered with this graphics card, in my opinion. And yeah, let, let me know, like I say in the comments there, on, on what you think and um, what you think of my videos and what have you. And please subscribe to see my future videos as we'll probably be looking at this card yet again. Because <laughs> uh, we are going to make a few videos out of this card, obviously. Uh, probably going to take a little bit more of a deeper look at FSR 4 and um, maybe even look at Optoscaler as well. So we can have a little bit of a play around with that and see whether that FSR 4 sort of support that we can use with Optoscaler can actually help out in a in a few of those more demanding games so yeah i mean um again just th thanks for watching guys and as always guys <laughs> i'll see you in the next one bye guys